You last left your traveling adventure pair of Benny Bassett and Amanda K. Turpin in Lair, Germany. Hello. Nice to see you again. We are currently in... Uh, we'll give you a guess. I, I bet you guessed it right. We are in Venice. That's in Italy. And it is um, quite possibly like the number one reason that I planned this whole gigantic trip is that I really wanted to secretly get to Venice. Um, it's like number one on my bucket list and we came in late tonight and it didn't even matter. Um, I jumped in the water and swam all the way around the Grand Canal. That's not true. But uh, we are not talking about that tonight. We are talking about uh, when we left our very good friends and family in Northern Germany to head to Oktoberfest. And um, that was actually another reason um, we had traveled to Europe in 2019 and we wanted to come back in 2020 and then stuff happened and uh, one of our plans was to go to Oktoberfest and that way we could see our German friends again and we can have a kind of a, a little bit of a repeat trip planned because we had find some places found some places we really love so uh, this was a key marker Munich uh, is where the main uh, Oktoberfest or Weissen uh, which is um, short for like the area of the, of Munich where the festival happens. And um, I didn't know this. That's like a um, federal region or state uh, called Bavaria. I didn't know the whole German setup. So. There are 16 states in Germany. And Bavaria go. is one of them. There you go. And Munich is the capital of Bavaria. And um, yeah, we took a long train day. Uh, we left Lair at maybe 11, and uh, I was like, settle in, babe. We got like a five-hour train ride, and we got real comfortable. I even like tied a weird knot situation uh, for the backpack straps to the guitar. Like I really got it set up because I was like, we can, we can just relax. And then maybe two hours into the trip, uh, once again in Germany, they were like, train's done, kaput get off and I was like why why is the point of tickets the train systems on the struggle bus here man meaning Germany here and um yeah uh, I guess the fortunate upside is that normally if they cancel or mess you up and you're late or you miss a connection they generally refund you or hook you up somehow but luckily uh, I just kind of typed into Google to figure out, you know, what the heck, where we were, what we're, we're like, you know, or all of a sudden you're just booted off. And we actually ended up finding another connection and saving almost an hour. So we ended up getting to Munich and just about an hour early. Thank you, Google. Shout out to the tiny little startup company of Google and um, Google Maps. But anyway, it worked out. We got into Munich pretty late. We stayed at Moxie, which is a newer Marriott family hotel. And if you remember from earlier videos, Marriott is my friend, um, especially since they hire me to play some of their hotels and stuff. I like to, wanted to be part of the family. And Moxie is like their newer, hipper, like the bars open 24 hours and there's like music jamming all night and it catered to young people, I guess, but it's not generally young people that we saw there. <laughs> but it, it's reasonably priced, super kind of low key. It's cool, I dug it. Um, and they had some decent food, so we were able to eat there and didn't have to find a restaurant late at night, which was nice as well. Um, and then we just kind of crashed, easy night. I think we made a couple videos, so got caught up a little bit. And um, next morning, we slept in pretty a little bit, right? We didn't get up too crazy early. It was pretty normal. Pretty normal. All right. And um, we were going to Oktoberfest, and uh, we didn't we never really talked about what we wanted to see or or what the goal was. It was basically like, let's just go see this thing, see what it is. You know, we've heard all about it. We've read all about it. I think at one point I remember in the studio when we were talking about the trip. We read through all the tents, retained all that information, of course. And <laughs> it's like 
three months before. <laughs> um, but essentially we went in um, amongst a sea of uh, Lederhosen and Drindel and um, Drindel, sorry, Drindel, Dreidel, Dreidel, Drindel, Drindel, my apologies. And uh, just walked all the way up and down the main drag and kind of looked at each tent and kind of saw what they looked like. Tent is kind of an understatement because each one can house like thousands of people. 10 to 12,000. Yeah. Or more depending on the tent. They're like, they're like warehouses, but they're yeah. decorated really beautifully, like really festive. And uh, I, did, I was writing to my friend Annie about Oktoberfest and, and uh, said that it's basically like kind of all the trappings of the state fair, but <laughs> people get dressed up and you can drink beer at them. I mean, that's kind of all you do. Yeah. But there are like carnival games and and there was a roller coaster. So of course it had only been about a week since we'd been on a roller coaster. So it felt like that was important to do. I taught Amanda how to do the, the strongman uh, thing. The hammer, you like hammer the thing and the little bell goes up and sets off the alarm. For whatever reason, I'm just going to thank my grandpa of all people because you know, he taught me how to chop wood and it's basically very similar to chopping wood. And, and there's a technique to it. Even I could probably teach the smallest person to do it. It's not complicated. And there were some rough dudes got up after me. and No dice, man. Because it's not about strength. Yes, yeah, technique. Even this little weenie could do it. Yeah, so, little weenie. Yeah. So, so one, Amanda, a little fake flower for all my efforts. I could have had a medal, but I was, I was about giving gifts. That's my secret love language. <laughs> um, anyway, um, what else? That was kind of it for Carnival Games and the ride. And yeah. then we went in, um, we went and saw the big... Uh, Bavarian statue. There's like a jag. I mean, not Statue of Liberty, but like a very. It's comparable. It's very, very big. Yeah, and you'll be proud of us. We didn't go up the ton of stairs to go up into her head and view the whole area. We were like, let's be a little more chill today. So I found uh, the first one we actually sat down at was this kind of um, reminded me like a, of a little Swiss like cottage kind of mm -hmm. thing, chalet chalet and uh, we kind of walked around there was live music just starting up and they play in like this tiny little square that's open on all sides so the band gets locked in it's kind of interesting um but i saw these two little seats like under the staircase up to the next floor and it was just two two chairs and you like you basically are crouched under the stair like harry potter style mm -hmm. whereas most of the seating in like all the great beer halls and other built even this one which is more intimate it's all kind of picnic table style yeah. it's all very communal You're, you make friends so it's very rare you that you find like friends. a little two top but there was one under the stairs and it had some kind of uh sign some... above that we didn't in a different in German. language we didn't really uh think about it and then we sit down we're in uh we were served our drinks and a really humongous pretzel and then everybody who passed our table would like point at the sign and point at us laugh and be like yeah and so we wrote to our German friends who we had just left, and we're like, uh, what does this say? Does what does this say? Does this say here we're sits dumb two Americans? Idiots. <laughs> and apparently, it's like it was like slang for like the kissing room. Yeah, like a kissing booth. Kissing booth, yeah. Yeah. And so uh, there was one group, probably in their sixties, like came by, and I and I they kind of pointed and gave. Uh, laughed, and I like leaned over to give Amanda a kiss, and the one older guy was walking by and he kind of leaned down to do the same thing and then laughed and then kind of walked by and right as he was about to go around the corner he looked back at me and he just goes <laughs> and I was like I did the same thing back at him making friends but anyway uh it was very it was very cute and it was a nice way to kick it off uh making friends with each other before we were ready to make friends with everybody else mm -hmm. um we also, I, I'm never going to remember all the names. I know the big ones we went into, like Half mm -hmm. Shore and, and um, Hofbrau. And, like, we went into the the two biggest ones we went into right before we left because it was just 
we were in a sea of humanity getting like shoved There's around so and I was people. like I can't and no one's like no one cares because they're just hammered at like 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. or whatever mm -hmm. time maybe but, it was 4 or 5 yeah it was about happy hour when we left yeah that's true but we've we... been there since like 10 a.m. I mean we we spent a good we did our due diligence we did we, we did and we had the beer we portions, did what we were supposed the to the signs do. like hold like four beers yeah so at least we didn't we didn't need we to go two. too crazy we each had like an individual sign ourselves and then split one later on it was the perfect, perfect. amount we didn't yeah. need any more than that yeah no one had to carry us out no and it was like i mean perfect weather yeah, it's like cool it breeze beautiful. sun out not a cloud i mean it was do you remember the story of the angel in the last tent we visited? Aloysius is the name uh, that was in Hofbrau. Yeah. So Hofbrau is like one of the OG uh, companies. There's still like a Hofbrau like building downtown. And, and um, but there is a rotating angel uh, in the middle of the tent. And I think... He, he used to be a post postman postal worker and uh he like died and i and uh somebody was supposed to some and some angel some higher power was gonna like, send him to back heaven. to earth to send a message back to earth and he was like uh i'm gonna do that in a minute but before i go i'm gonna go have a beer and then never delivered the message and so he's like just permanent roaming angel aloysius and so people in theory, I didn't see this there, but I guess they used to like throw their under things up on this angel, and it was like a good luck or I don't know. They're all about good luck charms here. We found out. So anyway, I bought a little. Uh, I like trinkets of all kind, like but my animals. whole life I've I have always had stuffed animals. I don't care how I'll be a hundred years old, I'll still be getting them because they're just like cute, fuzzy, wuzzy little reminders of where you've been and memories and, and like, um, you know, I don't know. I just like them. Judge away. Um, so anyway, I got a little guy and his name is Aloysius now. He's just a little teddy bear in, in lederhosen and a blue and white check shirt. He's handsome. Kind of has a little Sherman coloring to him too. Just saying. Um, anyway, uh, then we like, I said, let's just go walk to old town because as much as we like history, I was like, there's got to be stuff we want to see in Old Town. And uh, pretty much always right when it comes to Old Town. It's where we stayed in Stockholm. That's where we like went in Oldenburg. It's like, that's, that's the place to go for history nuts. Um, we were like walking. We saw a couple, two of the main churches downtown. Uh, showed up right when the bells were, it was like a rush hour for the bells. Mm -hmm. And... Um, then I said, I saw this like dark little entryway into this like square and I was like, let's go in there. And it was a beer garden with a really nice like sit down restaurant. And we sat down and had a really nice dinner. Yeah. Uh, amongst, good. as it like got dark and the whole like buildings around us with this beautiful spire lit up and it was really beautiful. It was our first uh, schnitzel of the trip. First, first schnitzel, only. that's right, that's right. So we've kind of, we've hit, done good on food, trying foods from the different areas. Sometimes we're like a little late, like the one at the airport, the yeah. brown, brown, brown cheese. cheese, brown cheese, that's right. Um, but anyway, it was really nice. And the train stop was right there, so we were able to go right back to our hotel. Getting around was pretty easy. Local trains. Regional trains, a little different. Um, but yeah, that was it. Then we uh, were off to Switzerland as a little waypoint. <laughs> To, on our way to Italy, because Switzerland should definitely be like the toss-in of the trip. But we'll tell you about it in the next video. See you guys.